What's going on everybody, I'm David. And today I'm gonna try the most ridiculous challenge that I have yet. I mean, it's 2021, new year, new me, I'm just going with the flow. Today we're gonna see if I can create a three course menu using items only in a drive-thru. Yeah, sounds pretty wild, right? Nothing extra, nothing in these wonderful pantry doors behind me, just what I was able to get. So let's see if I can create an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert using only menu items from a Starbucks drive-thru. All right, so let's get to this menu. I mean, I was kind of limited as far as what I had to work with, but really tried to get creative. Hi, um, can I get three of your everything bagels? I actually don't have any bagels right now. Do you have any of the like lunch sandwiches available? The lunch ones, yes. I actually don't have any of the plain yogurts. Okay, do you have any of the biscotti? Let me double check. Got a little Starbucks. Your total is 49.75 at the window, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Right. Got everything. Let's go. So when it comes to a three course menu, you gotta think first, appetizer. I decided to keep it simple and I'm gonna create a Starbucks everything bagel crostini. I'm gonna take a few of these everything bagels, slice them up. Everything bagels are probably my favorite flavor too. Now that looks delish. So now that I've sliced these up, I'm gonna take them over to the frying pan, just drizzle a little bit of olive oil. Now you can do them to your preference, leave them in there for a couple seconds to warm them up, or if you want them to be a little bit crispier, you can definitely leave them in there, brown them up nice. And maybe some salt and pepper, a couple spices to kind of complement that everything bagel spice and let them get nice and toasty. Our everything bagel crostini turned out pretty good. I think that the olive oil gave it the perfect little kind of crisp on the outside and the salt and pepper will complement perfectly with that everything bagel spice. Now I decided to use some basic cream cheese if anybody wanted to dip some. Olive oil, salt and pepper makes a great dipping sauce. And again, same thing with a little salt and pepper mix on this cream cheese in case someone wanted more of a savory feeling for the appetizer rather than, you know, just the typical bagel. Mmm. No, that's good. So when it comes to the entree, I thought, all right, they have a lot of different sandwiches. I can take these, disassemble them, the tomato, mozzarella, ham, Swiss, and chicken, and I can just chop those up, arrange them on different pieces of the bread, and then layer with cheese, throw them in the broiler for a couple minutes, and we have a nice, wonderful flatbread. First, I'm pretty much just gonna empty these sandwiches out. You can see with the tomato basil, we got some nice ingredients in here that could come in handy later. That pesto that's stuck on the bread is gonna give us a wonderful flavor too. Now we've also got ham and Swiss, put these to the side for later. And I think they got like a little butter inside of here that'll definitely make that toast well. Tomato, basil, pesto, one more ham and Swiss. Got a lot to work with here. I'm gonna go ahead and toast these bad boys and I'll be right back. All right, that's looking good. I think we're ready to assemble this flatbread. As you can see, we got a nice brown line from that olive oil to give us a crisp crunch with every single bite. And I think that's gonna go perfect once we put it in the broiler, get a little bit more of a toast on everything and bring all these ingredients together. So this is everything that we were able to grab out of the sandwiches. We've got some ham, a little bit of turkey, some Swiss cheese, some mozzarella, spinach, sun-dried tomatoes. So I'm just gonna kinda assort this on the different pieces of flatbread and make sure you end with the cheese so we can get that nice melt on there. Okay, these are looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in the oven on broil for let's say three to five minutes. Just watch them, make sure you don't burn the cheese and we should be good to go. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, ooh, now that looks good. Now, as you see, we got those sun-dried tomatoes, which melted perfectly with the turkey and the spinach. And I want a little bit more heavy veggie on these ones just to have some variety. And here we got the ham, the turkey, the cheese, the spinach, the tomato, everything. But you know, you always wanna have a couple of options, so wanted to make sure we gave you something to choose from. I'm gonna need to dig in now. Mm, it's a little bit hot, but I think it's worth it. Mmm. Mmm, oh, that's good. And of course, last but not least, dessert. You know, I didn't want to do something too basic, but I thought after we have all these different flavors, I don't want to go too crazy as well. So we're going to take this yogurt, I'm going to chop up some fresh fruit, and then we'll take this almond biscotti and just drizzle it on top for a nice little crunch and have a fresh fruit parfait. So this one will be pretty simple. You know, you can take whatever you please. I'm going to take a little bit of cantaloupe, definitely some strawberry, a little pineapple. I love blueberries, so I'm going to throw a couple of those in there too. Now, I'm gonna start with their basic plain vanilla yogurt base. Just 
put a little bit of that in there. Now, I also want to add some of this strawberry kind of overnight oats that they had just to give it a little bit more texture and again, a little bit more flavor. Then I'll add a little bit of this strawberry yogurt. Again, just a little more flavor, mix that up. Maybe a little bit more of our plain yogurt. And then we'll start to put on some of this fresh fruit. You know me, and if you're familiar with my cooking, I gotta add a little paya. So today, we're gonna hit you up with some slow motion fruit paya for your yogurt goodness. <laughs> Then we'll put a little bit of biscotti, a little bit of granola, some almond shavings. We have a beautiful yogurt almond biscotti granola parfait bowl. All right, let's give this bad boy a taste. Mmm, the fruit. Gives it a nice refreshing taste. The biscotti and granola add a nice little texture. And everything just ties together good with that yogurt base. I think we did it. Three course meal Starbucks. Never would have thought. All right, we gotta keep this going. So you gotta make sure to let me know in the comments what drive-through you want me to try next. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to Delish, and we'll see you next time.